Hey there, we have like eons of stories to tell, so if you want to follow us along on this journey and, and keep up with all the stories that we have putting out, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here, and today we're going to continue with uh, Greg Pak's Hulk run. You know, we're, on, we're, we're just now starting Planet Hulk, so we're like, we still have to get through Planet Hulk and World War Hulk and all that stuff. So it's going to take us like a long time to get through all this, so we're just going to go back into to the Hulk run. So basically, last we left off, um, the Hulk, he was sent off of uh, the, the planet Earth, you know, like he, he landed on this planet after he messed up the coordinates. And he, he went to, uh, through this like this large like wormhole and it sent him to the wrong place. So he landed on this planet uh, and they ended up enslaving him. And, you know, they, they have him like becoming a gladiator, going through fighting these uh, fighting these little like tests and stuff that they have going on. And basically, like he they sent him uh, to like this little like prison area. And that's basically where he's at right now. So. Here, like, he, he's actually, like, they're basically in the mall right now, the little prison area. And, like, uh, he's, like, fighting against these, like, lava monsters, right? And while he's doing that, some of the Imperial Guard... Is, is there When I say Imperial Guard, I'm not talking about the actual, like, Imperial Guard, like, for the Shi'ar Empire. It's basically, like, that's that's what they're... That's what, you know, the, the guards for the Imperials here, basically, for this little Empire on Sakaar. For, like, the, uh, like the, the, the King's Guards, basically. So, um... One of them walks up to him, right? Or like floats up to him on this platform, and like he's um, uh, he's like like Hulk is like trying to resist like whatever he's telling him, and like this guy he's just like he's like activating the Hulk's uh, obedience. This and whenever he does that, it like shocks him basically. Like if and if he like resists too long, it'll basically like fry his brain, so he'll just be useless pretty much. And he's like you know like using that to basically like you know try to tame the Hulk, and Hulk is just like no. So this guy, he like starts talking about how he was actually a, uh, a gladiator there. He used to be uh, like a slave to the, the Empire, basically. And he ended up winning his freedom after like, you know, like like going undefeated in the um, in the arenas for like, uh, I think like four seasons. So uh, like he starts talking and basically like he's telling these guys that they actually have to fight each other, basically. You know, he has like uh, criminals, slaves, you know, basically all those kind of guys. They're all in this little area. And he's pitting them up against each other. He has like 22 people. And he's basically saying the last seven of those people to be alive will be basically like form a team. And, you know, they're like, they're just like, oh, no. And one guy, he's just like, okay, I'm a citizen. Like, you can't put me here. Like, you know, stuff like that. And this guy just like, like just like disintegrates him. Like, he just like, <laughs> he just like disintegrates him. Leave him into like a pile of ash. So like everybody else is like, okay, yeah, not trying to have that. Let's fight. And like all of them just like start fighting. Like everybody just like crashes into each other. Korg and Hulk, you know, they're the first two to go with, uh, go into each other basically. And they're fighting. You know, uh, Korg actually like takes the Hulk down. And while he's doing that, the Brood from Brood World, they end up, um, they end up like coming in. They just start killing all these guys off. They're just like killing everybody. Just like, just like annihilating everything. And Hulk and Korg, you know, they're just like fighting all of them off. And like while they're doing that, they end up, um, uh, the Imperial, the Imperial guy, he ends up uh, just like stopping the match, basically telling them that that there's only seven left. You know, there's Korg, Hulk, um, two of the little pink, the the Sakar natives, uh, one of the Shadow people, Meek, and uh, one of the Brood. So basically, that's their that's their team. You know, they go back to their little cell. You know, all of them they just talk it out. You know, they start talking about how they're gonna go about this little um, contest. Pretty much, you know, they start introducing each other, uh, introducing themselves to each other, stuff like that. Pretty much. And, you know, um, like, they end up going to their next test, right? So they go to their next test, right? And they're all, like, you know, they have, like, their weapons and stuff. And, you know, they're standing in front of this lava. And, like, when they're standing there, they're just, like, looking. And, like, these, like, large rock creatures th uh, come, like, crawling out of the lava. And, like, Korg, he's looking at him. He's like, these are my brothers. And, you know, he's just, like, he starts, like, losing all morale. He, like, he, he basically just doesn't want to fight these guys. And, like, Hulk, he's just, like, beating everybody up. And he just, like, takes Korg. You know, he sees him just, like, sitting there on his knees just, like, trying to, like, not fight. And he, like, takes Korg and, like, slams him into the other... <laughs> He slams him into the other rock guys, just like destroying them, and like basically like they end up just like fighting off all these like rock monsters. And while they're doing that, there's these other natives, and they're just like off in the distance, right? They're off in the distance, and they're just like looking at the Hulk, and they're just like watching. They're just like, okay, this guy right here is kind of strong. Like we we could use him, you know, stuff like that. So with the end of that test, you know, they ended up uh, finishing off, you know, uh, winning that winning that little. Uh, part or whatever and like they end up uh, like being on this platform you know and like they end up um, like becoming gladiators like they, be they became gladiators the Imperials brought them like armor and stuff like that so everybody here they're like you know they have like they basically like you know ranked up for a better word <laughs> for lack of a better word so they're, they're just like talking and stuff you know they're talking about you know uh, humans and stuff like that Brood says she has like um, like like experience with them basically like how uh smart they are basically how they're machines you know stuff like that and like while they're moving 
they see this like imperial cruiser right and they're just like moving through the they're basically like going to their third test site and they're just basically being watched like they're basically like um being used as entertainment pretty much uh, that's all that's like all they they're there for pretty much so um they get to the third test site and they just like explain to these guys like basically they're here to like uh fight off these wild bots right these wild bots they've just been going through the 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 natives the lands killing all the farmers all that kind of stuff and they're basically using these gla uh, gladiators hulk uh korg all these guys to basically like try to get rid of them so they go through and they uh defeat all these wild bots and like while they're doing that these other the guys that were like spying on the hulk from afar in the last uh in the last test they're basically watching these guys again you know they're just like documenting everything that he does pretty much so um with the with the end of that test uh, they end up taking the gladiators to um, to like on onto the uh, imperial cruiser, right? And they're like basically feeding them. Like they have this big feast. Like they have like this huge like piece of meat. Like they're basically like you know they're they're eating good pretty <laughs> pretty much. Um, so while they're doing that, you know they're all talking and stuff like that. And we um, actually find out that um, while they're doing that, the guys that were like off in the distance spying on the Hulk, they like bust into the Imperial Cruiser, right? They all have guns and stuff, you know, they're basically like trying to, um, they're basically like trying to come and recruit the Hulk for whatever agenda they have going on. The Hulk, he's just like, okay, no, I don't care about whatever y'all got going on, it's none of my business. And like one of the, um, one of the gladiators, one of the people that was, uh, on the Hulk's team is basically like trying to leave with them, you know, she's, she's like trying to defect from the, uh, Empire, she's not, she doesn't really care about what they got going on. So, and like Hulk, he's just like, I mean, I don't really care, that's not my business. Not really trying to be whatever, so she ends up getting taken away by the uh, by the guards, right? And like while that's going on, the uh, the imperial the not the imperial well yeah the imperials um, they end up taking the uh, gladiators to like this little like you know uh, these little rooms, right? You know like letting them pick their women, you know stuff like that. Basically letting them letting them live a good night, you know for the next test, basically. So uh, the Hulk he ends up going to uh, his room, and in there he has Kyra, the um, the guard for the um, the the Red King that came to protect him in the last video. She's in there, and you know, they end up start talking and stuff like that. And she's like telling him how she basically wants to like buy him, not for the reasons you think, you nasties. It's <laughs> she's like trying to buy him to like get rid of him basically, so he wasn't, so he wouldn't be a threat to the king, because like the Hulk could like really get the Red King out of the way anytime he wants. She's basically trying to prevent that. So, you know, after he says no, all that kind of stuff, and basically, um, you know, he ends up leaving, going to the room that he was supposed to be in, you know, stuff like that. And they end up taking the um, the gladiators to like the uh, back to their next test, right? You know, it's the next day they're going to their next testing site. They get into this arena, right? As soon as they get in there, they drop. They, there's this large missile that just like flies down onto the arena site, and basically, like everybody else is just like in shock because like they're dropping like these huge missiles on people with just shields. Like they're like they're basically trying to kill all these guys. But the Hulk, he like jumps up, right? And as soon as he jumps up, like the missile explodes and it like just blows up with him. So everyone here, while they're like, while the dust is settling, everybody like the dust is just settling, right? Everybody here is, you know, just trying to make sure everyone's okay, you know, stuff like that. And like while the dust is settling, all these death, uh, death's head guards are basically just like walking out up onto them. So they basically have to uh, fight all these guards after being weakened by that huge bomb. And they basically like they're basically fighting these guards with guns while they only have swords. So it's basically like very unfair. And that's what one of the um, the trainers is basically going up to the Red King to tell him pretty much. And like while that's happening, the Hulk he just comes in and just like starts destroying every every single guard in there like they, they're just like trying to shoot him nothing's working he's just going through just like massacring everything <laughs> he ends up taking their little uh their little scepters and just like start shooting them with their own weapons and he just like just just solos the entire the, the entire arena he just like gets all of them out the way so um with that being done uh their test is over they end up going back to their little cells you know and everyone starts talking about you know their their little um their origins and all that kind of stuff basically how korg he actually had a run-in with thor you know stuff like that and, you know thor came through and just like start destroying all of his brothers and stuff like that so with all that going on um we actually get to the uh, very end of this story right so um basically what happened was all right so the way that the hulk was stranded on this planet um, they basically, uh, were, like, talking to this guy, right, in, in this, like, solitary cell, and they're basically, like, um, they're basically talking to each other about how the, um, the green scar, uh, has to be, like, you know, ended, like, they have to get him out of the way, and they're basically using the Silver Surfer to do it, just the way, the same way that they got the Hulk in there, the same way they got the Surfer <laughs> He got the obedience, this and everything on him. All right, so um, if you uh, basically we're gonna have the uh, the Silver Surfer and Hulk fighting each other in the next video, 
But uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, enjoyed the story, blah, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see y'all in the next one.